right y'all I told y'all I was going to do a get ready with me video basically telling y'all how I met Mr. James Long so throughout this video I have to set the tone for it by first mentioning some unmentionables and to just go ahead and tell y'all already these unmentionables are boyfriends boyfriends that actually led me to go to the school where mr long went so i am not going to say their names however i will refer to them by the first letter of their name because honey don't nobody deserve credit okay mr long got me and we gonna leave it like that okay to begin the story here we go mr long and i actually met our junior year in high school and basically i had transferred to american senior high school i transferred there during the summer i transferred there following love and thinking i was in love with this other dude and we're gonna refer to him as k well don't ask me y'all how i convinced may rose to let me transfer to this school however i did successfully and we actually were in a class together and it was our american history class dude used to show up every day every day faithfully late so he used to walk in class late and due to the fact that i guess he had pe prior to him coming to this class he would always come in with like his shirt on butt and he'd have on these nice fitting edwin jeans and don't don't get it twisted and i'm smiling when i say that because i'm just reminiscing on how my man looked like you know when we met however i didn't know he was gonna be my man okay he just could not understand for the life of him like why all these dudes in this class that sat around me including him why they was like sweating me like that okay and he was like y'all forget like she got a boyfriend and the dude that i was dating at the time he was maybe like three years older than me and he had graduated during the summer now this is a little side note somebody fail they senior year on purpose to be able to go to school with you during a summer session is crazy don't you think that shit crazy because i think that shit is crazy stephanie wouldn't have failed senior year so that i can meet i can go to school with a girl for the summer session oh hell to the no i would have been like honey i'll see you on the outside okay everybody knew i was his girl james knew that i was his girl just due to the fact that he would see me at this lunch truck with him when he would come out to the school to see me well like i said mr long didn't understand why these dudes in the class with me was sweating me so much he just he couldn't he couldn't comprehend why he was like i don't see what's the hype about her like she all right i was just all right i was just all right okay okay just honey i'm more than all right now anywho so he decided that i guess he was gonna be a rebel and say that you know he wasn't gonna be sweating me like that and stuff like this well there was this guy that sat next to me and i'll mention his name because there was a punk move that he did to try to i guess gain my attention there was a nomination for homecoming court well mr long and everybody in the class have voted for me to be a part of the homecoming court for the junior court well you had to do like a 20 dollar nomination okay fee you had to pay in order to participate so we ain't had 20 dollars okay i ain't had 20 dollars however the dude that sat next to me he did and he had said that he was going to give me 20 dollars so that i could go ahead and nominate myself or be nominated that you know he got it i was like okay thank you okay appreciate that well you know when people do stuff like that for you i guess you should really ask questions ask questions to the point of do you want your money back because dude clearly he wanted his money back and like he 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 told me he wanted his money back like in the worst way well one day we was in that class and he asked me did i have his twenty dollars this is how he asked me y'all i was walking out of the classroom and he was like stephanie wore my twenty dollars and i was like dude i thought it was a gift i like you know i thought you like you know you just did that at the kindness of your heart no he didn't this dude gone actually snatch my ponytail as i was walking out of the classroom okay um, when i say snatched i mean snatched he did that okay and i was like oh james was actually a couple 
couple of people behind me and he like he like said something to him he was like dude like why are you pulling on her hair like that like is it that is it that serious like you shouldn't have gave her the 20 dollars like if you was gonna be tripping like that i guess dude one still wasn't trying to hear it and he was like adamant about his 20 dollars but keep in mind he likes me okay this dude and i guess like you know in order for me to pay him some attention you know this was like his gesture to show me that he likes me right anyway james hollered at him hollered at him and like that's when he like noticed like damn he like pulling her hair like is it that serious? Fast forward, maybe a couple of days or maybe a week or so had went by and we had this this test in this class and the teacher had asked us that once we finished the test to bring the test up to her desk and turn it in. Well, I did that. Well, this day, I remember y'all what I had on that day. I had on this rust colored, like, rayon short set. Had on some cute little sandals. I had my hair all like, like up in a high ponytail. And I walked past him, because when I say he sat right next to me at another table with a dude named Kevin. Well, when I walked past him and I came back, he was like... You jiggling, baby. I was like... Excuse me? Like, I'm what? And he was like... You jiggling. Don't talk English, okay? He like, you don't know what that means. I knew about LL Cool J video, you know, you jiggling. However, you know how kids these days listen to music and they don't know what the hell they listen to. Well, that was me back in the day. I was kind of like, when it came to that mess, okay? So he was like, you don't know what that means. And I was like, nah. And so he was talking about my butt, okay? So I was like, okay. So this gave him reason to say something to me okay so we getting ready we done got dismissed and we're out by the bus and he asked me could he have my phone number well y'all ain't gonna lie i gave him the wrong number keep in mind this somebody that i thought he was like a player player because you know he come in class every day he late he thinking he rike suave and all of this walking through and i'm just like whatever I didn't see him like that. So I gave the brother the wrong number. Nah, I didn't know the brother was going to call me the next day. Well, he called me that same day. He found out immediately that that was not my correct phone number, okay? So the next day when he saw me in class, he asked me, he said, why are you going to give a player your wrong number? And I was like, I didn't think you was going to call me like for real. And then on top of that, you already know. I got a man, so it's like, why are you trying to talk to me? Because the brother was genuine, and like, he really wanted to like, talk to me, I gave him my phone number. Now, I had no intentions on ever like, becoming his girl, okay? And I told him that right off the rip. I told him about Kay, and how, you know, we ended up together, and make a long story short, Mr. Long and I became really good friends, like, for real, real good friends. He couldn't understand, like, the dude I was dating at the time because he always did stupid stuff. He was, like, always, like, breaking up with me and... All the dumb stuff, like, breaking up with me over dumb stuff, like, for real. Like, holidays would come around, he break up. Y'all know, y'all know how dudes do. Like, basically, if you can't afford to buy your girl a gift for Christmas or Valentine's Day. And like, for the four years that me and him dated, we never was dating during Valentine's Day. Ain't that something? And so, I had shared my experiences with James about this dude. So he just couldn't understand like why I was still with him. Y'all know we be young and dumb at the time. Young and dumb and we think we in love and we ain't nothing, okay? I'm gonna tell y'all this. When me and Kay broke up, Mr. Long felt like this was his time to, you know, make a move. Now, this was the thing. Every time I would not be with someone, he would have a girlfriend. When he would break up with that person, then all of a sudden I would have a boyfriend. It was like timing was never right for us. However, he didn't care when it came to his girlfriend because Child, Kim was a better chick than me because ain't no way if I'm in my boyfriend's house and Stephanie call, am I not gonna be mad that he just act like I ain't here no more. Well, yeah, y'all, he used to talk to me even with his girl sitting right there next to him. He used to talk to me still. And I would be trying to get off the phone with him because I thought that was rude too. However, he didn't care. 
he said I was his friend, and that's what he explained to her that this is my friend, and you know, I need to talk to her. Fast forward. We friends all the way up until like our senior year, January, our senior year. And like I said, that never was a perfect time for us, me and him, to be together. So January of 92 came and you know we all getting ready for senior prom and all of this stuff. Stephanie did not want to go to the prom with anybody that she went to school with. No shade to nobody I went to school with. However, I just wasn't feeling nobody like that. <laughs> y'all gonna have y'all gonna be surprised when I tell y'all this. Stephanie asked Mr. Long to go to the prom with her. Yeah, I did. I did. Take a strong woman to do some shit like that, okay? He he did say yes. He was he was surprised that I asked him, and so all of a sudden, now if he went to the prom with me, which I think gotta happen next, he gotta meet my mama, right? And we had made a a point for him to come over and meet my mother. Well, when he came over to meet my mama, y'all, my mama was impressed. Okay, she was really impressed with him. She met him, you know, she chit chatted with him. You know, we talked about what colors I was gonna be wearing. Now, Steph ain't got her prom, her prom dress yet. Cause I was waiting for me to find the perfect prom dress. Now, are y'all surprised that my prom dress was thrifted? It was thrifted. And you know what? Because I asked him to go to my prom, he turned around and he asked me if I could go with him to his. I was like, okay, now let me back up. I was no longer going to American Senior High at the time when I asked James to go to the prom with me due to the fact that my mama snatched my ass from out of American High School and she put me back where I came from, which was Hollandale High. So, I went from going to school in Broward County to Dade County, from Dade County back to Broward County, okay? I was at a different school, so me and him, we it was going to be two proms I was going to be attending that year, himself as well. So, he came over to meet my mother, and y'all... No lie. This is when I started looking at him differently, okay? My mama saw him, and my mama was like, when he left, after she talked to him, he came over, you know, he was all cute and stuff, you know, dressed appropriately. I ain't talking about that shit with your pants hanging off your ass and looking sloppy and stuff. No, James' mother and father raised him to be a very respectable young man. I have to give credit where credit is due, because honey, who knew he was going to be my husband one day, okay? Nobody, nobody ever thought that me and him would have ended up together, okay? My mama was like, after he left, my mama was like, He is cute, Steph. He is really cute. She was like, why are you not your boyfriend? Really? You, mama, you think he cute? And she was like, he, he is really, really cute. She said, I like him. Now, keep in mind, she didn't like Kay. And so she was kind of happy me and Kay was done and over with. However, she was like... She was looking for me to, to get some new love in my life because she really wanted me to get over Kay and move on because she just thought that he was just not the one. She the one introduced me to Kay, okay? She was. However, she ended up not liking him because she said that she thought he was full of shit. Young ladies, when your mama think that a young man is full of shit, at that age, I'm gonna say take heed to what your mother or your father is saying because there is something that is making them have this weird vibe about them and you never know, they could be saving your life. For real, okay? So, my mama is the one that actually started putting the hint in my head that, oh, you know, I think you should, you know, give that brother a chance. So, I started looking at him differently after she said that. like. For real different. And then next thing you know, I guess we done been friends for a year and a half. And it's like, we we so like in tune with each other. The time was right. It finally was right for me and him to become a couple. He wasn't dating nobody. And I wasn't dating nobody. And I don't think that would have went well if me and him was going to the prom together and he had a girlfriend. No, that it wasn't going to go well like that at all. And y'all, I wouldn't be surprised if James broke up with his girlfriend just because of that. I wouldn't be surprised. I am not being cocky. Thank God the brother was feeling me, okay? We ended up on February 11th, 1992. James and Stephanie became a couple. We became a couple. We started prepping for prom. And long story short, y'all, Mr. Long did not get up. He was not able to go to the prom with me. 